imagine for a Smith grad, the fact that you are you know, now testifying by, before Congress and introducing the Attorney General, that seems like a natural step. But guys, it's very hard to get into that college. Um, but the fact is, is that you're doing that because you both served time for being part of a drug cartel and um, had both the courage and willingness to, to take that on and make it a bigger issue in terms of how other people are dealing with prison. Did you expect that your life would take the turns it has? Oh no, I, I don't think I could possibly have expected this. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, I mean, no. it's quite surreal. <laughs> it's very I, surreal. I, can only, I can't imagine how surreal it is for you, in fact. I, w I mean, I was incredibly grateful and honored to be asked to testify about solitary confinement and women uh, for the Senate and to talk at the White House about reentry and employment because I think it's really important. There's 700,000 people coming home from prison and jail every single year in this country. I will also say that when they were like, oh, and by the way, would you introduce the Attorney General? I was like, this is weird. This is really weird. Um, as an ex-con. As an ex-con, indeed. I was like, and now, a man who needs no introduction, <laughs> Eric Calder. <laughs> it's probably the most honest thing that's happened in politics in a long time, actually. Bye.